Now, in the first two sections, we talked uh, about the otalgia, in which we discussed mainly the causes of otalgia, local causes, referred causes, and then psychogenic otalgia. And now, let's start about the uh, tinnitus. Uh, we will talk in this section mainly about the different types of tinnitus in which we will talk in detail about subjective tinnitus and also objective tinnitus. So what tinnitus is? Tinnitus is the ringing sound or noise in the ear. These ringing sounds uh, or noises, they are uh, within the patients and they are not from the outside. So origin of this sound or noise is within the patient. Very uh, uncomfortable situation because uh, patients, they complain of that they hear the ringing sounds in the ear and uh, it may be con continuous or it's episodic but it, they keep on hearing and this makes the patient very anxious, nervous and they have problem in, the, in sleeping and resting. So ringing sound in the ear is tinnitus. It can be unilateral or it affects the both ears. So patient can hear the ringing sound just from one side or from both the ears, both sides. Uh, different types of uh, tinnitus. We have uh, tinnitus can be subjective tinnitus and subjective tinnitus is the subject. So only the patient can hear the sound subjective. So only patient uh, hear the sounds. And then objective is the type of tinnitus in which the examiner can hear the sounds also when they examine with the stethoscope. So a subjective type of uh, tinnitus is uh, common. Objective is not as common as the subjective. So most common type of tinnitus is subjective type in which the patient complain that they are hearing the ringing sounds in the ear. So here if you see in this diagram, this is the internal carotid artery, then the temporomandibular joint. This is the internal jugular vein carotid artery and these are the uh, damaged hairs inside cochlea. The tinnitus causes damage to the hair cells present in the cochlea. This is the cochlea and inside the cochlea we have the hair cells and when the sound waves comes and in the cochlea the vibration of hair cells occur this vibration produces these electrical stimulus that is transmitted to the auditory nerve and the auditory cortex and its sound is interpreted. So these are the hair cells in the cochlea. They are damaged in the uh, tinnitus. So damaged hairs inside the cochlea. So two types of tinnitus we have subjective in which the patient can hear the sounds only. Then we have objective in which the examiner can hear the sound when they use the stethoscope for examination. Subjective tinnitus, it can be what are the different causes that lead to subjective type of tinnitus. We have autologic causes or the causes that occur in the ear. Auto is ear. So autologic causes can be impacted wax. Wax or cerumen which becomes impacted becomes very hard and this can cause tinnitus, subjective tinnitus. Then fluid in the middle ear is another cause of uh, subjective tinnitus. Acute otitis media, chronic otitis media, 
Meniere's disease. Meniere's disease, we discussed Meniere's disease in detail in one of our lecture in which the mainly there is a patient can hear ringing sound in the ear and also they have a vertigo or dizziness. So Meniere's disease can also lead to tinnitus, subjective type of tinnitus. Uh, presbycusis. Presbycusis is a condition in which there is hearing loss as a result of the aging. As the person grow, uh, get older, the hearing becomes impaired and that is presbycusis. So presbycusis or hearing loss with the age can also lead to tinnitus or ringing sound in the ear. Then noise-induced hearing loss is another cause of subjective tinnitus and idiopathic sudden uh, sensory neural type of hearing loss. Idiopathic is a condition in which no cause is known. So sometimes sudden unknown cause uh, loss of uh, hearing sensory neural can also lead to tinnitus. Then we have acoustic neuroma or can cause uh, the tinnitus. Then some metabolic causes that can lead to tinnitus, hypothyroidism. When the thyroid hormone levels are low, they can cause tinnitus. Hyperthyroid, both conditions, decreased level of thyroxine or thyroid hormone and high levels of thyroid hormones, both can cause tinnitus. Oh, obesity, overweight individuals, they can have tinnitus. Hyperlipidemia, emia is in, for the term is used for blood. So increased lipid levels in the blood can also cause tinnitus. Vitamin deficiency, especially vitamin B12 deficiency can cause uh, tinnitus. Then some neurologic causes of subjective tinnitus, head injury, temporal bone fracture. This bone is the temporal bone here. So any fracture of the temporal bone can produce the ringing sound in the ear. Uh, whiplash injury, involvement of the cervical vertebra in whiplash and we already said that involvement of the cervical C2 and C3 uh, spinal nerves cause uh, otalgia also and this can cause tinnitus so any injury at this level cause the involvement of the ear. Multiple sclerosis can cause uh, subjective tinnitus post meningitic patient. Whoever who has meningitis or inflammation of the meninges, after that they can develop tinnitus. Brain hemorrhage, uh, brain infarct or infarction. Infarct is the dead tissue or death of the brain tissue leads to brain tinnitus. Then cardiovascular causes, hypertension, hypotension, increased blood pressure, low blood pressure, anemia is a condition in which there is decreased hemoglobin or red blood cells, uh, arrhythmias, cardiac arrhythmias, abnormal rhythm of the heart. Uh, arteriosclerosis, hardening of the arteries. This arteriosclerosis also can cause tinnitus. Any pharmacological, some drugs can cause tinnitus, especially the drugs which have autotoxic effect like aminoglycosides, uh, antibiotics in which we have uh, gentamicin, streptomycin, neomycin. They all can cause tinnitus also. Uh, certain drugs again used by the patient, all autotoxic drugs, as I mentioned. Then some psychogenic, psychogenic causes, anxiety, depression, all can cause tinnitus. So again, if we uh, summarize it, autologic causic, uh, metabolic causes, neurologic causes, cardiovascular and psychogenic. All these different factors and causes can lead to subjective 
tinnitus and subjective tinnitus is tinnitus when the ringing is heard only by the patient not by the examiner now in let's talk about these causes of objective tinnitus and objective tinnitus we know is the tinnitus in which the hearing sound is heard by the patient and also by the examiner when they use the stethoscope to hear so causes of objective tinnitus we have vascular causes in which we have the av shunt which is arteriovenous shunts and uh, like congenital av malformations in which av shunts are present so congenital malformations of av shunts then glomus tumor of middle ear is another cause of objective tinnitus then arterial bruit are uh, can cause objective tinnitus like uh, arterial bruit present in conditions like carotid aneurysm uh, aneurysms are the dilations of the blood vessels so carotid aneurysm is the aneurysm of the carotid uh, artery and uh, this can cause objective tinnitus then carotid stenosis narrowing of the carotid artery uh, as a result also uh, produce the objective tinnitus uh, vascular loop pressing on eighth nerve in internal auditory canal can cause objective tinnitus high riding uh, carotid artery also then we have pers persistent stapedial artery so all these are the different vascular causes involvement of the blood vessels that can cause objective tinnitus then the venous hum can cause objective tinnitus like whenever there is dehiscent jugular bulb then patulous eustachian tube patulous eustachian tube are the uh, when the eustachian tube they remain open stay open this can produce the objective tinnitus uh, palatal uh, myoclonus then we have the idiopathic stapedial or tensor tamponi myoclonus these all can cause objective type of tinnitus some dental causes and then there is clicking of temporomandibular joint here which can produce the objective tinnitus in this the tinnitus or ringing sound is heard by the patient and by the examiner so that was all about section 3 thank you for watching scardia.com